Hi everyone, it's Will here. I'm a children's book illustrator and a character designer. Um, today it's my first ever video and I started this introduction for a lot of time. But let's go! Um, and today I'm gonna rust an old illustration of me I created two years ago uh, in June 21 this one just here and uh, then I will explain all my process uh, with a time-lapse drawing so I hope you will enjoy it and wish me luck okay let's start with the old illustration well the illustration is quite good with a nice composition but it feels a little bit stiff and flat with a lot of parallel lines uh, we need to add a background because she's sitting in the hair. Um, the personality is unclear. The clothes are too much. So we need to add some props. There is a good hairstyles. There isn't any expression. The proportions are awkward. And my goal to have more personality to this character, to have a dynamic pose and a better design, especially with clothes and hairstyle. Okay, before redrawing her, let's take a look about the wood board. I collected few pictures, I think uh, fairies tools. Uh, I grab some black girl hairstyle inspiration. I have my original artwork. I have few technical information like the outfit um, of a fairy. I have an um, outfit from Tinkerbell. I really like these dresses with two complementary colors. We need to create outfit with uh, nature. Uh, I grabbed this reference from another artist that has uh, more personality with this dirty look. So let's see what I'm looking for. Now that I have my mood board, we can start to draw. I like to explore the option with some thumbnails. So you can see my process is quite random. I'm starting to give her some pause to explore her personality. I already had her proportions in mind with the previous design. I first work on an angry personality of Tinkerbell, like a stud bone, but I finally wanted more joyful, so I thought about a good moment I like in the movie when Tinkerbell found hold of these new things on the beach and she's really happy, so I want to give her more curiosity in her personality and the pose. Then I choose two sketches from the thumbnails. Uh, the one on the left um, won't make the take because um, I lost the um, curiosity personality I wanted for her. Uh, it's kind of just a whoops moment, so I didn't want this for the final illustration, but uh, I wanted to exploit anyway. The one on the right um, is better for before and after redraw because it's a sitting pose. Um, and I had the idea to capture this moment where my Tinkerbell character will uh, find a new object. So, like she, she is having an idea with the the new founding uh, object. So, I tested some closest styles, and uh, I checked the silhouette to feel the negative 
space between my character to see which one is better. So to finish this, I check the proportions and twist some parts of the illustration. And now it's time to add a little background because she's sitting on something. I decided to jump on the flower with some friends. So now it's time to clean a little bit the, the final sketch to make it clear for the, the next part. One of my favorite parts uh, an illustration is to choose the color. So I first start with the silhouette, I choose the skin color and everything around this. So I wanted to keep the same color palette than the previous illustration with more harmony between the greens with a complementary with a pink color. And I wanted the ladybugs fit in the illustration, but don't take too much attention. Now we can start to clean everything. I always start with the background, so you can see my messy process with uh, brush strokes, texture, mix of color. So I'm trying to render everything without being too precise, but giving a little details around there to fill the, the background. Okay, so now it's time to clean the characters. I started with the cute ladybugs and they're kind of reddish pinkish color. So the first one is quite of natural, while the second one has a um, tired expression. I wanted to create a story with this expression, like she, she's just waking up because Tinkerbell was like, oh, I got an idea with this. You can see my technique to clean the characters um, just jumping around here to clean the skin and then the classes my process is kind of messy and i'm just floating around the illustration to make everything clear uh, so enjoy the, the process So I like to add details 
that nobody will notice, for example, with these tiny lines that we can barely see. It's quite relaxing. The uh, is quite clean, we had to jump on the final touches. So I need to render the spring, I want it to be rusty and have some nature on it, like it's, uh, it's been a long time, it's here and she finally find it. So I had uh, a lot of texture. The next step is to ground the character in a 3D feel, even if it's a 2D illustration. So I give her some shadows with a quite simple set of uh, lighting. It's a great and simple way to give your character some volume. Then I will add some kind of uh, light source to reinforce this ID. We can also add some detail with a big shadow to ground the character on the, on the flower. So we can add rim light too, not too much, but just enough to contrast in some part of the of the design. Okay, the last step of my illustration is to check my value and see where the contrast is bigger and where it will bring the attention to the character and it helps to adjust some details. Okay, so now that I clean everything, it's time to check if the goal I set earlier are okay. So I think the pose is more dynamic and tell a story like the new design classes and her style and I think she has more personality so good job! Hey! It's Will again! Um, thank you so much for watching 
my video i hope you really enjoy it i hope probably you learn something and um feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you want uh, don't forget to put a like and a comment to tell me your opinion about everything see you in the next video bye